Welcome to Wilbur D. Rao Middle School Where the teachers are great and every single kid is cool Truly, learn with the common goal We are safe, respectful, and responsible Home to math minds, some of the best readers Musicians, athletes, scholars, and web leaders Lots happening in this wonderful place And there's only one way to stay up to date So if you got a case of the Sandbox Blues Hit the YouTube, check the Shamrock News What's going on? 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 Not a thing that we cannot do. Growth mindset, it's the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's good, family? It's your boy, Mason. And I'm here with. Ready. <laughs> Let's kick off the show with our final check in on the 100 million word challenge. Our sixth grade winner is... Naomi Meyer, who read Brian's Hunt. Our seventh grade winner is... Ella Christian, who read Roller Girl. And our 8th grade winner is... LEDs, who read In Case You Missed It. Just a reminder that we've got an undersea dance coming up in a few weeks. Here's some more information. What's wrong, Chelsea? I'm just really crabby that I don't have a dance to look forward to anytime soon. And it's like, it's like I don't even have a porpoise anymore. We have been flying around lately. Yeah, I've been a shell of myself. Are you sure? Yeah, I need some electric in my life. Well, luckily we have and under the sea dance that is currently approaching. What? Friday, March 2nd, 2018 at 6 p.m. till 8 p.m. right here at Rao Middle School in the lower gym. It'll cost you $2 to get in and all proceeds will go towards future events and rewards. There will be concessions and refreshments available. The dance will be decorated with an under the sea theme. You can wear the under the sea related clothing, no swimsuits or speedos. You can dress casually or formally as long as it's school appropriate. See you later, alligator. Aren't you going to say goodbye? I'm waving goodbye. <laughs> Congrats to everyone who participated in last week's Tournament of the Plays. It was an amazing time at Milwaukee's Black Box Theater, and the actresses and actors were phenomenal. So my name is Desi, and my play was like a first date scenario. So it was like an extremely awkward thing, and it's a huge comedy act. And I hope that we did pretty good for the audience. <laughs> Actually, I'm really sorry, but do you think that we could move? I mean, my tooth's close and all, but my neck hurts already, and my previous haven't even started yet. 
all of my organs just went into a straight knot and just would not come undone. But then uh, when I did it the second night, I, w I didn't feel so nervous because I kind of knew most of the people that were there. And um, yeah, I was in this phone will explode at the town and my cast was just amazing. I think they were great actors. And I hope we win so we can move on to the high school tournaments. Okay, my name's Lenora. <laughs> and our play was about um, a bunch of different phone scenes and like how people talk and sometimes it was like messages and it was like really, really fun. Mass production. Right on the phone. Right on the freaking phone. Well, I'm an accountant. I, I don't have imagination. There's no singing, no jokes, no fun time. I'm tired of people being there. I'm not home right now, so leave a message and I'll get back to you. Of course, you should know this machine is wired to my cat. But if you don't leave a message, then it's bye, bye, Colin! Uh, how much, how much work went into this? A lot of work weeks. went into this. Weeks. And weeks. And weeks. Like weeks and weeks. And weeks. And like staying after school. For yeah. long periods of time. For like two yeah, hours. Yeah, until like six. Yeah. 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 Like a lot of time. So a lot of she had to do this. A lot of fake Since crime. before winter break. Like it took so long to have to do this. <laughs> a lot oh. of work. Yeah, I messed up. Much. On a Saturday, we had to be there for three hours. This is the principle. Block A has been permanently changed to block Q. Block Q is now block 12 For next week only, block N is block M. Today is the rest schedule. Unless you're on the basketball team, then you're on the Falu schedule. Grade sixes, you're on the rest schedule until lunch, and A to M is on the Rufus schedule, and N to Z is on the garden schedule. Hey everybody, we're um, here at the Tournament of the Plays. It was quite a rousing time. We saw lots of great plays and lots of talented students doing their talented things on the stage. We Absolutely exceptional. Mm -hmm. I give it two thumbs up. Watch out! The box is tiny little bit, tiny little bit, and around and around. Hey, grandmother, I play it before I go to sleep. Toolbox, that's a box that holds tools. Uh, hammer, wrench, screwdriver, we get it. Oh. <laughs> What's your favorite part about acting in the place? The people. And the fact that I'm good at it. <laughs> Starting next Thursday, Thursday, February 15th, 2018, Miss Lewis will be hosting a dance club after school on Thursdays. Head up to the office for more details and uh, sign up. Wow, seems like you like to dance, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, well, that's good because Ron's gonna have an after school Dance club. Wait, seriously? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> to be a part of this dance club, you must follow these rules. Maintain a friendly atmosphere, bully-free and drama-free environment, and must work as a team. You must encourage others and be open to learning new dance styles to different types of music genres. Please bring appropriate clothing and sneakers, a water bottle, and a positive attitude. The sign up sheets will be located in the main office. And dance school will be starting on Thursday, February 15th. Like trees. I read that book, Violetta. You did? What is it about? It's about this girl who goes to her summer, va summer vacation home, and there she has like a lot of adventures, and she and she finds out a lot of mysteries, and like she just has a different time that she usually does when she goes there. 
you should read this book if you like books about mystery or suspense or like a realistic kind of book. And this book is called This One Summer by Julian Tamaki. And you should read it, it's a good book. You still have a couple days left to submit your when are we ever going to use this forms to Mr. Dix in room 219? Yeah. When are we ever? When are we ever? When are we ever going to use? When are we ever going to? When are we ever? When are we ever going to? When are we ever going? When are we ever? When are we ever? When are we ever going to use this? Right now it looks like Rob Middle School will have about 103 people in the 1 million word club. 103? Yup, and we want to have a pizza party for the 1 million word club members. The thing is, how many pizzas do we buy? Papa John's sells pepperoni pizzas for $14.50. These pizzas will feed four people. Domino's offers a deal for educators where they sell medium pizzas at $9.99. These pizzas feed three people. If we want to feed everybody in the 1 million word club, where should we buy the pizzas from and how much will it cost? When are we ever? When are we ever? When are we ever gonna use? When are we ever gonna? When are we ever? When are we ever gonna? When are we ever gonna? When are we ever? When are we ever? When are we ever gonna use this? There's still time to submit your artwork, poetry, and writing to the Winter Rousing. What you doing? Writing a poem. How about you? Oh, you know, I'm just making a song. We should submit our stuff to the rousing. There's gonna be another rousing. Hi there, folks. We are looking for submissions for the winter rousing. So if you have any drawings, poems, essays, stories, or songs, lyrics, or anything in between, please submit them to Mr. Dix's room in 219 by, by February 1st, 2018. The zine will be distributed in paper copies, but it will also be on the Row Rights website. We look forward to seeing your fabulous creations. What's up, bros? Me, Quan here, and I'm here with What's Poppin', and we're about to do what is your favorite basketball play player, you know? So, like, like Michael Jackson, you know? Get into it. I'm here with my boy Hayden, aka L Dog, aka L Boy. So, L Boy, what do you think? Who is the best basketball player of all time? Bro, Lonzo Ball for sure, bro. Lonzo is the best, dude. He's got the wettest jumper in the game, okay? That's pretty cool, yeah. Good job. Okay, so, you guys, who's the best NBA player? Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. Slow, slow. Snakes are animals, not NBA players. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Best basketball player right now. Best basketball player in the in the NBA. So since it's in the NBA, that means LiAngelo and Lamelo do not count because they're not in the NBA yet. Which means the best basketball player and the only answer that is acceptable is LeBron James. Any other answer is objectively, unequivocally, absolutely, 100% incorrect. Here you have it. Hey guys, best NBA player you got now, go. Bro, what's a Westbrook? <laughs> go, Steph Curry. Steph Curry, He's trash. He's trash. What are you talking about? Bro, you know who he is? She doesn't even know anybody. Exactly. <laughs> Why are you doing this this week, Round Middle School? We'll see you next time on the Sham Sham News. Shim Shim Shim. Shim Shim Shim. Shim Shim Shim. I feel like Jake Ball right now. I want to give a Shamrock shout out to JC, being a, a good friend since sixth grade. <laughs> Hi, and we're here doing the Shamrock shout out. We're giving shout outs to sixth grade teacher Mrs. Hayes and Mrs. Brown. Oh yeah, I want to shout out Mr. Hayes because I haven't been here for long and like I don't really know the math we do. So like he helped me and then that's how I got like a, a good grade in math because he Same helped with me you. out. He helps me a lot too. And yeah, he just helped me. And Miss Brown, she helped me with the stuff we do. Like if I don't know nothing, she'll ask me. And I ask her questions on stuff and she'll just tell me 
like what it is and how to do it and I get it done. I want to give a shamrock shout out to Miss Baker for helping me out every day with all of my classes, but also for being an awesome co-teaching partner in third period. We are going to rock semester two. I'm giving a shamrock shout out to Genesis, Zoe, Emily, and Angie for being my best friends. I want to give a shamrock shout out to Alexa. Shamrock shout out. I'm John. Uh, this is Daniel and Daniel. They're my friends. Yeah. I want to give a shamrock shout out to them. I want to give a shamrock shout out to all my friends. All right, I'd like to give a shamrock shout out to to, to Miss Miss Odo. Yeah. <laughs> I want to give a shamrock shout out to Justin for being cool. I guess is yeah, but yeah. Hi, I'm Mrs. Sun, and I want to give a shamrock shout out to the counselors and Miss Shaw for all their hard work on second semester schedules. You guys rock. Thank you. Give a shamrock shout out to Miss Davis for helping me with math. I want to give a shamrock shout out to Avery Johnson. I would love to give a shamrock shout out to all the people who participated in the tournament of the plays. I went out Friday night. It was super awesome. So shout out to all the actors, the actresses. Shout out to Mrs. Brown for putting the whole thing together. And shout out to Oakley for filming some of the tournament of the plays. Library will be at Rowell Middle School during lunch two weeks from today. I I have to read it first. Hold on, let me redo this. Now sit down. Cut, it, cut it me for filming. Cut it me for filming. I filmed. Look like hair on his face. Is this dude. good? That is so much. Is this good? Yeah. I'm gonna take off this jacket. Uh, oh my goodness! What are you? What? To be part of the dance, you must follow these rules. Maintain a friendly atmosphere. Wait, actually. <laughs> mm. Wait, are you recording? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm Shamrock News now. Shamrock this is the. Oh, who do you think's the goat? Greatest of all time. Brian Scalabrini. Dude. Thank <laughs> you.